Bastet fills in many gaps in the Overwatch timeline and provides us with tons of new lore, hints at a possible new map, and some clues on where the story is headed next. So let's break down all of the details. The story begins at the moment the Anna Old Soldiers comic ends. Jack and Anna had just fought off their old friend Gabriel, however during the encounter Jack was shot and the wound is described as being necrotic and black, and taking a longer time than normal to heal. Jack as we know is a part of the Soldier Enhancement program, and along with super strength, agility and speed, he was also blessed with incredibly fast healing. However, something about the shells Reaper is using counteracts his healing factor. Jack expresses a suspicion that they could be laced with a biological agent, and we have previous reports of Reaper's victims being left as empty husks with their bodies showing signs of intense degradation. The reason this is important is that it could give us more details about Reaper's powers. Just like Jack, he was a part of the Soldier Enhancement program, but we know that at a later date he had Moira perform some kind of experiment on him that seems to have gone wrong. His official bio mentions that he could be a byproduct of failed genetic alteration, which forces his cells to simultaneously decay and regenerate at a hyper accelerated rate. I wonder if the wound that Soldier 76 sustained will act like a smaller version of this. It's never described as being healed in the story. Perhaps he will have this injury that constantly decays and regenerates, the same way the whole of Reaper's body does. Anna suggests that Jack should go and see Mercy about the wound, however for now he's refusing to see her, but perhaps if it continues not to heal that will be his next stop. It will bring Mercy into the story and provide us with more information about what's happening to Reaper. Next in the story we learn more about Cairo and the Anubis God program. The city is described as having a lot of crime and struggling to recover after Overwatch shut down the Anubis project a decade ago. We already knew Overwatch was responsible for shutting down and quarantining the Anubis God program, but importantly we now have a date for when that happened, roughly 10 years ago, so this means that it wasn't shut down as a part of the Omnic crisis as that ended about 25 years ago. So why, 15 years after the Omnics nearly destroyed humanity, were people working on a super powerful AI, and what triggered Overwatch to intervene? Whatever the case, it seems the Anubis project was big business in the city, as even though it was shut down 10 years ago, the city is still recovering and the crime rate is high. This would imply that they were employing a lot of people, many of whom have now been forced into illegal work. Anna feels very responsible for this, describing it as part of Overwatch's legacy, so to make amends she's been trying to make her home city safer by becoming a bounty hunter. We also get a brief mention of an Overwatch operation in Prague, and a joke about Reinhardt failing to be stealthy. While there is nothing else to go on, this could be a contender for a future Archives events location, similar to Rialto and the King's Row mission. Our next interesting bit of content is only briefly touched on, but when Anna goes into her computer after Jack has been using it, she finds it full of articles about Reaper, and she wonders who has been feeding Jack all this information, which she describes as a spider web of corporations, government officials and financial institutions, all hopelessly tangled together through corrupt arteries and shady intermediaries. She mentions that this kind of thing was never Jack's strong suit, but there is one character in game who is positioned perfectly to give Jack lots of information about Reaper and is definitely well aware of a spider web of conspiracy. We know Sombra is using Talon to further her own goals, but perhaps she's also using Jack. Keeping this in mind, we also have a reference to an article talking about Soldier 76 breaking into Lumerico's new fusion plant. We know he was in the area thanks to the hero animated short, but the events of that were all shown in the streets, not within the plant itself. If he was also breaking into their building, then that could provide a connection between him and Sombra. Next in the story we have the reveal that Jack was once in a romantic relationship with a man named Vincent, and it was officially confirmed on Twitter that both Jack and Vincent identify as gay. This is the first mention of Vincent, but not the first time we've seen him, as this same scene was actually included in the Reflections comic two years ago. However, that's not the only scene from that comic that gets referenced in this part of the story, as a few moments later Jack says, at least you and Gabe managed to have families. Now we know Anna had a family, Farrah is her daughter, and we saw Sam, Farrah's father, in the Reflections comic as well. But this is the first time that Reaper having a family has been officially confirmed, however there was this image also in the Reflections comic. 
At the time of release we speculated that this was probably his family, and judging by the references to other images in this comic, it seems to be confirmed. But what relationship does he have with them? It's hard to be sure, but we know Gabriel is 58 and the couple seem fairly young, late 20s or early 30s perhaps, so it's possible he could be the father to either one of them, which would probably make the young boy his grandson. Before we finish up, there are a couple of other small pieces of new information within the story. The first was that Anna and apparently Jack both know Dr. Faisal, the archaeologist who's excavating the Petra map. We know very little about them, but being mentioned like this could imply they once had some connection to Overwatch, most likely through the science and research divisions. The second bit of information we got was that the events of the Legacy comic and Anna's origin video happened in Poland, and that is where Anna also went through her recovery under the watchful eye of Dr. Lee. So what do you think? Is Sombra feeding Soldier 76 information about Reaper? What about Reaper's family and Jack's lost love? And will the wound from Reaper's shotgun ever really heal? Let me know your theories in the comments below. As always, this is James Fakas saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.